Welcome to this, the second in the series of short videos where I'm looking at private water supplies. My name is Jeff Nemec and I'm founder and director of Spring Hill Water Services, a company that specializes in treating private water supplies. Meet Leo. Very noisy. In this video, I'm going to be looking at how we treated the original Spring Hill spring supply that was featured in the first video. Walk this way. Probably be followed by Leo. I might see Joan around and Gertrude. Leo. He does that at any time of the day. <laughs> we started the business over 10 years ago now. Karen, Matthew and myself. And I said, he's not going to shut up is he? Oh well. We'll battle on. <laughs> we set up the business 10 years ago. And I suppose we were quite fortunate in that we had our own spring supply to experiment with. And in those 10 years, we developed a wide range of products and we can hand on heart recommend them. We know they work and we know they're economical anyway. Here it is, Spring Hill Farm. Seventeenth century farmhouse up here in the Pennine Hills. Over here is a spring supply. Looking at the flower bed here, it's amazing to think there were no flowers when Debbie first arrived. She planted all of them. And I've just seen a dandelion. And it reminds me of that saying where whereby people say a weed is a flower in the wrong place. I suppose the dandelions looking a bit out of place among the Lakeland poppies and the bluebells. quite funny really. Carol the gardener, she, she considers those poppies to be weeds. And Carol and Debbie go to war every year because Debbie likes them. There we are. Oops. Hello Joan. hiding behind the compost heap there. So here we are, the original. Water treatment shed. We put those foundations down. 10 years ago. Foundations literally on which the, build, bu the business was built. Yeah, 
Yes, Leo. He's keeping us company. Anyway, to recap on the original video, the first video where we looked at the source, the water feeds down the hill. It's over a kilometre up the hill there. The Spring Hill source feeds five houses, which is quite amazing really. Five houses, literally, fed from a little seepage on the side of the hill. Originally the water was collected down here for the farm in a galvanised steel tank underground there. But the ground is very acidic as is the rain and therefore the water is very acidic and eventually it ate away at the galvanised steel tank. So we put an alternative tank inside the water treatment shed. Originally there was also a pump in the house but we moved that outside, it was a bit noisy. You can get quieter pumps, but I think we prefer to have water filtration equipment inside a specialised shed. There they are. They're having a lovely time. The chickens. Anyway, here we are. We've put together a collection of equipment that's typically used on a private water supply such as this. But before I look at them in more detail, you've just got to take a look at the apple blossom. Delicious at this time of year. Anyway, looking at the filtration equipment that I've put together here, you'll see on the left a pH corrector. That makes the water more alkaline stops the water from rotting your pipes, stops that greeny blue staining or stops blonde hair from going bluey green as well. Then you've got the water tank. It's rodent proof, stop mice, rats, and other animals getting in. A booster pump delivering near on mains pressure and flow. pre-filter to stop any large bits getting into the UV and finally the UV itself. It's in component form there. At the front you can see a stainless steel housing. Then there's a quartz sleeve then the bulb. It's very important that the bulb is changed every year and the quartz sleeve is cleaned. And it's really important to have the pre-filter because that stops bits getting into the UV chamber and prevents an effect called shadowing. 
whereby the pathogens such as Crypto, Giardia, E. coli, Campylobacter stops them from hiding behind the particles. Basically, it increases the efficiency of the UV. Anyway, enough of the techie stuff. When I came on the scene here at Spring Hill, Debbie and her family had lived here 20 years and of course being a bit of a, a water guy I tried to persuade her to install a UV but she refused. Bit of a farmer is our Debbie. She'd been drinking the water for 20 years and it hadn't done her or her children any harm. I hear that such a lot. Debbie changed her mind when her 11 year old daughter got quite seriously ill. We had to take Kate to A&E to and, &E, and it, uh, it was awful seeing an 11 year old girl fit and healthy up to that point on a drip and that focused Debbie's mind as it would. Cryptosporidium does that. It focuses the mind. Anyway, enough of that. It's a beautiful day. Over here we have a borehole. We drilled it recently. And we'll be looking at that and we'll be looking at how borehole water is treated in the next video. In the meantime, my name's Jeff Nemec. This is Spring Hill. That is Leo. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.